What are the key facts of a common alerting protocol message? The common alerting protocol, or CAP, is a standard message format that helps enhance emergency alerting. CAP alerts communicate the key facts of an emergency, such as What is it? Where is it? How soon is it? How bad is it? How sure is it? And what should people do? This video highlights some key elements of an alert and how they are captured in a CAP message, allowing alerting authorities to send out consistent emergency communication to the public. Let's begin with the headline that shows the intent of the message. The headline is often shown as television call text and is designed to fit a SMS message. For example, flash flood warning for Milford Sound, Southland, New Zealand. Then, there is the event type. This answers what is it. In our example, a flash flood is the event type. Next, there is the category of the emergency. CAP messages can be used for any and all hazards. The category for our example of a flash flood is of course meteorological. Other categories include geophysical, environmental, health or transport, among others. Now, it is important for people to know where the emergency is happening. In a CAP message, the affected area can be drawn as a polygon on a map. Additional information on the impacted location can also be included in the area description field. Next key fact is the urgency level. This communicates how soon the emergency is expected to affect the alerting area. It can be immediate, expected, future or past. CAP message also communicates the severity, which says how bad the emergency may be. This can range from extreme to minor or unknown. Another key fact is the certainty or how sure an emergency is to occur. Is it observed, likely, possible or unlikely? When sending an alert, it is very important to include actionable guidance so that people know what to do when they receive the message. This is the instructions element of the CAP message, such as never try to walk or drive through flood waters. Red Cross Red Crescent key safety messages are available to be included as instructions from a trusted source. In addition to these key facts, the CAP form includes elements that provide some context and help to ensure an alert is reliable and can be validated. For example, the sender ID defines who issued the message. Every registered authority has a specific identifier so each CAP alert can be traced back to who issued it. The send element specifies the date and time an alert was issued. You can also specify when an alert expires. This is the time when an alert would be updated with new information in case the emergency has evolved. Lastly, the status element allows a CAP message to be issued as an exercise or test, as it could be useful to run tests before issuing alerts to the public. CAP can be used for any emergency and shared by all media to ensure life-saving information quickly reaches people in harm's way.